Hey, what's up guys? The Sun here and welcome back to Destiny. And in today's video, we'll be going over the Reckoner seal as well as my thoughts as well as tips and tricks um, that you guys can hopefully utilize to chase this one day. So the first thing I want to go over is my quick little thoughts on it as an introduction. Um, it is grindy. Yes, everything you hear about this seal is true. It is very grindy. You are literally going to be living in Gambit Prime as well as the Reckoning event. And, you know, there's no other way to put it. Um, it's definitely that kind of seal where if you have the time or if you're just crazy. I feel like people who chase Reckoner like myself just love Destiny are crazy anyways. Um, but yes, it's definitely grindy. But I actually had a lot of fun. But, you know, let's go into it about the first thing I want to show you guys is what our overall the triumphs that you have to do to become a Reckoner. First thing is the annual pass, of course. You gotta get all the items um, associated with the badge, which let me glance over really quick. Let's show you guys. I gotta complete it on my Warlock, of course. Um, it just, to me, it was just easier. So these are all the weapons you have to earn, which I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with, hence why I'm just going over this really quick. Um, the emblems of course are associated with it which take the longest because i mean you gotta you know fulfill out the roles in order to do it so let's go back to triumph so i can show you guys what you gotta do so aside from the item collection um these are the first initial four i like to call them which is basically pretty much is win a match with the notorious set of each role so you gotta win one match as a collector one match as a reaper what is an invader and one is a sentry um these three ones are associated more of so with the reckoning um it's so funny i don't remember even trying to do these i think i just did these without even knowing it i apparently there was a deathless run and i didn't even know <laughs> like i think i just got this when the season first came out and i was just like oh i guess i did a good job by not dying cool so that kind of made me happy um these are when things get you know crazy these are the triumphs that people have been talking about that make the reckoner title not fun and you know the part that people says like oh god no i, I can't do this anymore so the first one is triumph of collector uh pretty much the triumph and triumphs are pretty much you do each role and you just pretty much do what they tell you to do, but you got to do it well. So you actually have to win matches with each set. Um, I didn't even know this. I won a lot of collector matches because I was trying to do the small blockers part. And I just so happened to be placed on really good teams. Um, the, the last part is medals earned, which is half banked. You pretty much just have to just bank 50 medals or I'm sorry, 50 moats um, on your team. So pretty much you have to fill up the bank halfway on your own. And that's how you get that. The difficulty of this one was not that bad. This is actually, I saved this one for last. This is the last thing I wanted to chase because I knew it was the easiest. Um, this one I kind of did casually. When it came to the giant blockers and medals, I did play with a team. And for the matches one, I played with a team. Um, for the small blockers and most deposited, I did that solo and it, it was no problem. It was really nice to have a team that let me just pick up the moats and there was like no miscommunication. It was really, really nice. Um, in terms of difficulty from one to five, actually one to 10, I would give collector a five. It's pretty much in the middle. Next thing we're going to move on is triumphant invader. This one, you have to wear the full notorious reaper set. I'm sorry, Invader set, um, which is the one that gives you the red ore. In a moment, I'm actually going to go through all the armors so you guys can actually, like, you know, see them. And I'll just go over, you know, tips and tricks on what I use and how just I utilized it. Triumphant Invader was fun. Like, this is probably the... I did this one third to last. Um, Invader was fun. Like, it, was, it wasn't bad. Um, this one for difficulty... I feel as though if you're actually okay at PvP, I would give it with, uh, you know, 1 being the easiest, 10 being kind of hard. i give this one, if you're good at PvP, a 6 out of 10. But if you're not good, um, I would give it like 
a 8, like let's say if you're not really good at PvP, this one might give you some trouble. But for me, as you can see, no problem. Like, matches won. I was going in. Like, it, it was not that big of a deal. Like, this this one I actually couldn't wait to get to. Um, I'm also even going to go over my loadout. Um, this one doesn't have a metal attached to it. Instead, it just asks you, for example, to drain moat. So, with the Notorious Reaper... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just really excited to talk about the Reaper pride because that's, like, the biggest thing about becoming a Reckoner. But for the invader, there's a skill when you have the full set that makes it so when you invade, it locks the enemy team's bank. And when you stand near it, you steal their moat. So it's just saying like, hey, when you invade, just steal moats while you're there. Not necessarily kills, but just, you know, take the moats. I would kill about one or two people just to keep them away from me because I know if you kill four, you get sent back. So this teaches you to watch where you are watch where the enemy is and kill who you feel as though needs to be killed i would get lucky because being right now people are grinding for the solstice armor um i would just get teams who are just there throwing matches anyway so i would invade and just chill like no one came near me there of course there'd be that one player who's actually trying and he would just get murked so he i would just be like you can get out of my face you see i'm trying to do something and you know keep about my business the next thing, Triumphant Reaper, which is the most, I want to say this is the most infamous part of this whole seal. Yes, Triumphant Reaper is very tedious because of one thing, Massacre Medals. If you Google Reckoner, I promise you, one of the recommended searches are Massacre Medals. People all over the place are always asking how to get them. People are saying that they're bugged. People are saying remove it because it makes the seal not worth it anymore. I'm going to be up front with you. Reaper was my favorite. And this is the one I did first. Um, Massacre Medals are you kill about 12 enemies within... You kill 12 enemies really fast, basically, with less than, I want to say, 2 seconds in between kills. Um, on paper, that can seem really challenging. Even if you're a PvE player, that can also seem very challenging and hard. Um, what I did was I used Wrist Runner with the Catalyst with um, Crown of Tempest, Bottom Tree Stormcaller. Um, here's one of the biggest tips I can give you for Massacre Metals. Um, the first wave of ads that come in, do not try to do your metal then. Use that to get ammo, get your super up, and then... As a Reaper, slowly start to get away from that. Stand in the middle so you're ready to tackle the next wave. Once you know the wave is about to spawn, I feel bad because this is, um, I want to say this is more so for Warlocks, but I want to say this kind of works for all the other classes as well. Striker Titan, <laughs> Striker Titan, I feel as though wouldn't have no problem getting these. And I even want to say an Arc Strider Hunter with the um, Radiant Flux chest piece with a Super wouldn't have an issue. As well as, especially just using the wrist run in general. But anyways, once the next round of enemies spawn in, throw a grenade at yourself and just go in killing. Um, that is the easiest way I did it. And then by the time that's, that third wave comes in, you should also have a super. And as long as there's not too many beefy yellow bars or scorn, because I hate scorn, that was to me with artists. Um, you should have your super and you could just super them and potentially with between waves two and three You should have earned yourself a massacre medal. So that is what I did It wasn't too bad. I like Reaper because I like the green and the theme is just kill ads Just you're just a mindless killing machine. That's it and last but not least triumphant century um, This is the second one I chased after Reaper to me. This one was was actually the most boring one because your job is literally to sit by the bank um and that's it your job is to sit by the bank mark the invader and kill blockers like you don't go anywhere past the bank um but i want to say these guys have the most important job because you have a really nifty uh trick and ability which is to mark invaders which is crazy it's like oem levels of just you can track them when you die though it goes away but just that one mark alone helps your team out tremendously because now everyone knows where they are and the player who's the invader knows that they're marked. So they're just like, wow, they, they literally know where I am. How am I going to go about this? So 
you know, to me it was boring. Um, but if anything, it wasn't too bad. Um, the locks, the medal you have to get with this one is called the locksmith medal, which is basically every time they send over a blocker, you have to kill the last blocker three times in a row to earn the medal. So they send a blocker over, you kill it, banks unlocked. Send another one over, you kill it, banks unlocked. Third one, they sell a blocker over, you kill it, it's unlocked. You get the medal. And that one wasn't too bad. The only thing about this was it got really annoying when people started killing blockers. Even when I would play with a team, you can kind of do this one solo, but, um, you know, I feel as though it's best with a team because you can literally tell them don't kill blockers. Because if they, if they kill one or a couple, that literally makes it, you know, hard on you. Oh, I feel bad. In terms of a number for difficulty on a 1 to 5, I'll, I'll say a 7. I'll, I'll give this one a 7 because the Massacre Medals for some really holds it up. For a century, I'm going to give it a 4. Like, this is this is easy. Like, it, it's easy. Like, you just, you're just standing in one spot and you're just, you're just killing ads. But let's actually go over and showcase the armor. Um, as of right now, I have on the Reaper set. Um, this is not the loadout I use. I just like the snap rifle because it's red and it kind of mixes. Uh, I'm sorry, the invader. <laughs> sorry, this is the full invader set. For the loadout that I use for the invader, I use Randy's throwing knife, Yoten, and I believe the sword. Um, this is what I use for this loadout. Um, this helped me for the other kills. This counted for, um, the fusion and shotguns, I believe. For the sniper, I actually used... I didn't even use Revoker. I actually used Izanagi's because I wanted something that could go both ways. I wanted to use one for um, invading, and I needed one for boss damage at the end. So this is what I used. Um, I'm going to show you guys Reaper, being I've been low-key calling every other role that because I just like it that much. This is the Reaper. Um, it's green. Um, these are the skills you get with it, pretty much. Feel bad, I should have went over the other ones, but whoops. But this is the Reaper one, not bad at all. What I use, of course, I mentioned it earlier, but I've had on where is it? Threat level, wrist runner, and Crown of Tempest. This is all I used, and it made things a lot easier. A lot easier. This is what you want to use if you go for Reaper, Massacre Metals, no if, ands, or buts, in my opinion. Next thing is I show off the Sentry, which is that really cool yellow. You know, I talk junk about it because it's boring, but I really like the yellow. Like, the yellow is really cool. Um, actually, kind of, let me, let me go back really quick just so I can show off what the ores look like, because honestly, that's probably like my favorite part, but, you know, this is a sentry. Let me go ahead and slap on the collector really quick so I can backtrack. The collector actually really wasn't that bad, like, banking those moats felt so good, and on the first 20 I did, I got the curated, uh, spare rations. I'm sad spare rations is going away, but... I love this thing. Explosive rounds on a hand cannon is just really cool, and I love this thing. I'm going to use this up until I literally can't anymore. But you get the white aura, which I dig. I dig a lot. Let's show the... Let's go back and put on the Reaper one really quick. I believe you guys already saw the red, so I'm not going to show that one off again. But this is the green. Pretty much it just changes color. I think that's it. Nothing too crazy. But overall, um, I really liked the grind. It was, to me, it was enjoyable. Um, I chased it mainly because I wanted a seal on my Warlock that was equal to that of my Riven's Bane and my Shadow. So I was really glad that I had the time, the team who helped me get through it, as well as Claymates and you know LFG. I'm grateful for those guys super super grateful um is this seal for everyone yes and no because i feel like i people ask that question when it comes to titles all the time like what's the easiest what can i get the fastest it's not about that i feel like personally 
chase seals that just reflect your personality and just what you want. So I know that I can definitely go after, you know, Harbinger or Enlighten. I'm, I'm not even worried about that in terms of my skill level, but I feel as though I like the seals that I've just always wanted. Like Riven's Bane has always just been my golden chalice. Like I've always wanted this seal for the longest. And when I got it, I actually, there's actually a video I did on this seal. If you guys want to check it out on my channel where I do talk about the Riven's Bane uh, title already. Um, but it felt good to, to get that one. Um, my first official grindy seal was actually Shadow. Um, that one I'm actually really proud of. I don't. I did like a quick video on that. I may go back and do one similar to that of my Reckoner seals and the Riven's Bane one. But um, yeah, definitely Shadow was something I was very proud of. But I really wanted something on my Warlock because now I have a Reckoner Warlock, a Shadow Hunter, and a Riven's Bane Titan. So I really just wanted something that just showcased like, you know, I'm good at this game. I've been around and I'm, I love I love it. I'm very proud of my skill level and things of that nature. But overall, The Reckoner is a really cool title. I'm very proud of it. I'm glad that people who see me with it will probably say this guy is crazy and all he plays is Gambit. And believe it or not, it doesn't make me think any less of Gambit or Gambit Prime. I still casually go into it every once in a while because who doesn't want to show off that they're a Reckoner. Um, I also do have Dredge and Do, by the way. That was my first title. So I can officially say that I I like Gambit. I play a lot of Gambit. People dog it a lot. I think there's a lot of things they can change with it. I may do my thoughts a thoughts video on just Gambit. But, you know, my quick two cents on it. Yes, there are things they can fix. If anything, I wish Gambit Prime had lock loadouts, and you can only enter it if you have the the roll armor. I think that would be cool because that's the focus of it. The fact that people just play Prime and don't even have the sets, it kind of like makes it not Prime enough. It makes it just like normal Gambit. I feel like if you want to play just normal Gambit, just play that. But if you want to actually, you know, utilize the rolls and you know wear the cool auras, I think that's what. Um, Gambit Prime should be about but of course guys I appreciate everyone who watched this and if anything tell me your thoughts on the Reckoner seal what did, what did you like what didn't you like did you like Reckoning did you hate it did you like Gambit Prime what do you want to do with Gambit Prime like will you chase this seal um, I love titles I love seals they're just really really cool and I'm really grateful to finally have the Reckoner and it's just up from here I really hope that they introduce more Gambit themed titles in the future so I can lose my mind and chase that as well. So if you guys like this video, a like and a comment is always appreciated and a sub too as well. If you want to go that if you want to go that extra route, I am always forever grateful for people who do that as well as even just watch my content. Um, with everything going on right now, I'm just really glad that I could make a video every once in a while and just share my thoughts on these kind of things. So if you guys enjoy the content, a like, a sub is super appreciated. I hope you guys have a great day. And in the comments, you know, let me know something. What are you chasing? Uh, what don't you like? Things of that nature. So with that being said, I am out. And you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.